mashers than they are now. Like people who just you know press press A at you. Yeah. And uh, when you uh, have to deal with that a lot, uh, and you don't want to give up any easy stocks, and that's when you learn the space. You learn the space against people's strongest options. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think fundamentals are lacking in the young generation. They really are. The millennials. But fortunately for them, though, they just spend all their all their stat early stat points on tech. And they get all that muscle memory. And then as they get older, then they get smarter. And that's why you'll see all these people coming up uh, as they start hitting into that 18 mark. Yeah. And and uh, all the way up to 24, they just come out of the woodwork. Yeah. Blowing, blowing up people, taking names. I'm like 50. 90% sure. I think this is... Oh, I thought this was Duke's Samus. Okay. No, it's it's Duke's Fox. That makes more sense. That's weird, though. He usually doesn't go Fox against any character except for Puff. Oh, really? Yeah, he pretty much exclusively plays Mark. He and then feels like practicing uh, the Fox right now. Today. I think he has a bet with Ben or something. Is that right? That you overhear that? Well, it's he, he was saying that he was saying your Fox could oh, be Ben. Oh, my Fox. Oh. And he bet $20 your Fox oh. could. As long as I don't mess up tech, maybe. <laughs> but my Fox yeah, is it's pretty hard. bad. And you mess up one text, and then you die against yeah. Buff. So yeah, Ben, Ben's nasty. He's unforgiving. Super good. Yeah. <laughs> unforgiving. But yeah, I don't know if he has uh, that much matchup experience. I mean, I guess he knows um, a thing or two. I mean, he's played against my Samus a little bit. And he's played against Corey, I think, a decent amount. It's interesting so. how he's single lasering. I don't think he likes the matchup at all against Samus. Yeah, with with Fox. Um, with or any with, character, yeah. really. Um, I yes. think I feel like with his Ganon, he should like it a little bit more. But I think his style might not just be. Might not feel so good against. Uh, Do you have that for any character? Because I what? get that. I, I mean, I, I'm a lower level, but I get that. You know, I play against a Samus or even a Puff Ditto or something of that sort, and it's just like, you know, not the most fun to play. It's not your favorite matchup. Do you have that? Where matchups you just hate playing? Oh uh, yeah, I hate playing against Jigs. <laughs> like, yeah, um, it takes it takes. You have to be. You have to wait a lot. There's a lot of waiting. Yeah. Um, Depending on what character I'm playing, Peaches can be annoying to play. Peaches are um, I really hate fighting Sheiks. And I really? really hate fighting Fox. What is it about Sheik? Just the combo game? Yeah, and then the priority. Like, everything she has comes out so fast. So fast. Like, back air comes out frame four. Uh, forward air comes out frame five. It's really direct and has good range. Neutral air comes out frame three. Uh, and she has really fast. She's really hard to shield stab because her shield is basically the largest in the game like, yeah. in terms of her and ratio of her body size. Like her, her shield's the same size as Mewtwo, if that makes sense. Yeah. Whereas the, the next the big the, shield, the biggest shields in the game are Bowser, DK, and then Sheik, Mewtwo, or Ty. Yeah, that's weird. How <laughs> and then Zelda after that. So Ooh. she just has all these amazing stats defensively. She has the best. Like, she's in the best tier for sidesteps. She's in the like one of the best tiers for rolls. She's she just has she has it all. And then she has like all these guaranteed follow ups against the majority of the cast. Yeah. No, she she's a really really good character and I feel like and even at lower level like they don't even have to L cancel and it's still like they're yeah, combos together work. yeah right they still do work yeah Martha and Sheik are really good scrub killers too that's, 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 for, that's for certain this is like, like Borp and uh, um, uh, Broly legs back in the day <laughs> yeah as a, uh, Broly plays a player has a number of different handicaps you know can't can't use your hands like basically plays with his tongue through his cheek <laughs> oh wait yeah yeah I think I've heard of that and uh, he was able to take some games off of big players back in the day. Because of Sheik? Took a game off of Noah uh, with Marth. Actually. Oh, with Marth, okay. Yeah, uh, Borp is the Sheik who has yeah. no tech and just beats people with basically raw fundamentals. And yeah. Just general game sense. He has cool combo videos, <laughs> for sure. This is actually really close. It is. And oh, that, Ooh, up oh, smash would have sealed it. Definitely yeah. closed it out, but now he's got grapple. And he's sweet spots. And if he gets too close, he can get burned. And Ooh. then down smash. Yeah, yeah down smash. I'm pretty sure you could have gotten the down smash there, too. Uh, it was tricky because he looked like he was smashed down. Up. Oh, oh, he panicked. Um, I don't think he pushed the button though, so he should have grapple still. Uh, but I think he's just gonna go for the. Nope, he was too low. Oh, he double jumps. Didn't so even know how to jump. And he's gonna risk it. Oh, he oh. Just gets the ledge attack. This is uh, stressful. Super unsafe. Oh, and there bad it is. Yeah. Yeah, miss base four till. Duke was close there. He was down a stock, but he he had a really clutch stock. This is classic Duke, though. I feel like he comes to the weeklies, <laughs> and he usually, before you came, I mean, he would just take it every time, pretty much guaranteed. Uh huh. And so then you'd start going, like, secondaries. And most of his secondaries, outside of Ganon and Fox, are pretty trash. And so then he, start, he started dropping games to, like, players, like, like mid-tier players, like my level or worse. You know what I mean? He just started dropping games and sets to them. So BM. <laughs> You're supposed to help the community, Duke. <laughs> he is, you know, uh, he's bringing himself down to their level and giving them uh, experience. <laughs> that's, what he, that's what he said after two. He lost, I forget who he lost to. And he's like, yeah, but did you see how happy it made him when he beat me? Right. 
That's all. I, I mean, I. Yeah, people seem to get that way with me too. <laughs> when they beat you? Yeah, I'm just like yeah, like oh yeah, but I'm irrelevant. I'm irrelevant until people beat me. <laughs> yeah, it sucks to be at the level where you're you're like uh you know a top player, and then every loss is like a huge thing. Yeah, it's like oh yeah, I beat Todd, notable win, but it's like oh but oh you know it's like Todd is back, oh Todd is back. But if you beat them, it's like who cares? Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, that, that does suck at that level. You can't drop any games anymore. You can't have yeah. an off day. I'm, or expected, I'm expected to win, but then I'm, uh, anytime I'm losing, it's a big deal. Like, it's, it's a, it, <laughs> yeah, it's, Ooh, good reaction. Mike Hayes was complaining about that. He was, that's why he's saying he didn't want to count locals for uh, the MIOM ranking. Uh -huh. Because sometimes you go to a tournament and you're not going to win. You might yeah. be going to practice your mentality, on practice a yeah. secondary, and so you're going to drop games. But, you know, it's frustrating because everyone's going to be like, oh, Mike Hayes dropped a game to unranked. Yep. Flawful awful or whatever. Right. <laughs> Life of Taj, dude. You worked for that though. You, <laughs> you, earned, you earned that. You earned the right. You earned the right. To be scrutinized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For everyone to count your win-loss ratio. No one counts my win-loss ratio. <laughs> There's too many losses to count. True, true. Oh no. Damn. Oh look at him popping off in the camera, SD. Do you give homie stocks? Uh sometimes. Do they have to be your homie? Uh, no. Just yeah, you just give them sometimes. I give them sometimes. It depends. Like if I felt like I had tempo, regardless, yeah, uh, then I won't. I'll be like, no, I'm pretty sure I was gonna close that out. Or yeah. I was gonna do something. Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, yeah. I was in a really good position. I didn't. I don't feel like giving away that stock just because you know you messed up. Well, I already had you on the ropes. But if it's at like zero, like the first three seconds of the game, I'll be like, oh, dude, like, hey, uh, do you want to start over? Yeah. Uh, or like, oh yeah, I'll just For sure. drop the stock. No big deal. Do you do it in close games, like with someone like really close to your skill level? Like if it was you and forward and you're both like three uh, stocks of PC SDs, would you? Uh, probably. Um, I would do it, um, even if they're not necessarily a homie, Yikes. Yeah. I would probably do it. Um, Just because most of the time I like, uh, the only time I wouldn't is if it's against someone I don't necessarily